Hi, I'm John Cangelosi, former MLB player here at John Cangelosi's Baseball Academy. Uh, we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about situational base running at second base, okay? Responsibilities of the base runner, period. For me, when I got on second base, obviously I'm getting close to scoring, okay? Every, for that matter, every single base has a responsibility. At second base, you're getting close to getting that, that run scored. So for me, there's things that you got to understand. When I got on second base, if there's no outs, I'm, I'm, I'm watching that line drive. I'm letting that ball get through the infield. Again, I am looking at every outfielder, every single pitch. Not one every third pitch. I'm watching them move every single pitch. I want, the, I want to know where they're playing from their depth to where they're playing in right field, left field, center field, left center, whatever. I need to get a visual so when I'm looking at this guy at home plate, when I see contact made, I more or less know where those outfielders are situated, okay? Very important, very key thing. You have to do it where youth baseball kids do not do it at all. The other thing, the one that you always think about, you're here. The last thing that you want to do at third base is make your first out or third out at third base. Terrible base running. So instinctively, prepare yourself before the ball is being hit. And that starts with, again, outfield situation and knowing where your infielders are playing, okay? The ball in front of you, what I used to do, we're going to talk a little bit about that ball hitting in front of us, okay? Again, if you hear me talk, I always talk about breaking my body in half. Very simple. You know, it, it made my fundamentals a lot easier. I, I didn't like to be complicated. But if I'm taking my lead and there's something hit on this side of my body, I am holding. And especially, even before the ball's hit, let me back up, guys. I am going over four or five different ground balls being hit in my mind before the ball's being hit. If I go over that in my mind, I guarantee you, you will react that much better. Don't, don't assume and, and don't wait for something. If you wait for a ground ball being hit, you're going to be indecisive, you're going to be timid in your reaction, okay? So with that being said, okay, hard ground ball hit to my right side, okay? Everyone assumes it's going to go through, and young kids make that, that, that really crucial mistake. They try to get the third base. Well, the third baseman goes back. Now your shortstop's got a little flip throw, and you're out and bad base running. You just cause one, you cause your teammate a base hit, but more importantly, now you lost your RBI situation, okay? So for me, ball hit to the right side, get in this position, let the play form. If that ball goes through, then you go to third base. If that guy makes a great play, hold on, hold on, hold on, boom, and then get back, okay? The other thing that they do wrong here, ball's being hit, bam, I'm here, I'm watching, I'm watching, I watch the play being formed. If that guy wants to make a crazy throw across the diamond, I shoot the third base. But you can't do that if you commit yourself back to the bag. Never commit yourself back. Never turn your shoulders away from third base. Now you can't commit yourself to third. You're in this position. Your shoulders are square. You can go that way or this way. Towards third or second, you wait, wait. And then you get back. Or if the ball goes through, you can get to third base. The high hopper. If that ball's hit high, just because it's hit on your right side, you have the ability to get to third base. But you gotta, you gotta have instincts to visualize that before it even happens. If there's any hesitation in your move, you gotta shut it down, okay? So something hit, the other thing is, something hit kind of semi-hard. If you see that third baseman commit off the bag, you could go to third base, because you could beat him to the bag. So you're watching that third baseman. If he commits, you go. And that's for the ground balls in front of you, okay? The other thing, you're on second base. We'll talk a little bit about balls in the dirt. Anticipate balls in the dirt every single pitch, okay? Again, if you don't think about before it happens, if you think about it in the interim, it's too late, guys. You have to understand to think about it before it happens. Every single base, you always anticipate the ball in the dirt. Balls in the dirt, you go. Watch the catcher's knees. The catcher goes down to his knees. You can anticipate that and go. Okay, at second base, make sure the ball goes a little bit further, okay, because if it's just a short hop, all it is is a pop throw. Again, you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to make that first or third out of third base. Talk a little bit about fly balls, guys, okay. In this situation, the way it made myself think a lot easier, and I'm a simple kind of guy, because I had to be quick and I had to make my money on the bases, okay. Nobody out. Nobody out. I want to be a little bit aggress less aggressive and I want to make sure I get to third base. With one out, I'm going to take a little bit more of a chance, and if that guy makes a great play in the outfield, I'll shut it down and come back because we needed to get a hit anyways. 
but with nobody out, you want to be less aggressive and make sure if that guy makes that great play in the outfield, you put your body in a position to come back and tag. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. And again, it all depends on body type. In this position here, for me, I'm going to get out there a little bit more than the average guy. What I mean by that is there's no rule of thumb that you got to be out 10 feet or 9 feet. For me, it's a judgment of I could get halfway to uh, third base if I know I could get back and tag in time and go. So I'm going to give you a demonstration. Here's a high fly ball, semi-deep. Don't know if he's going to catch it or not. So I'm going to come back here, okay? I'm going to come all the way out here, okay? I'm in this position holding my ground. I, I don't know how far this is, but I know judging on where he's at, I know if he makes that catch, I'm going to have time enough to come all the way back, tag and go. For a guy that's a little bit bigger and slower, he can't be out here because once he tags, he's not going to have enough time to get to third base. So maybe his judgment might be in this area. And that's for that ball that's hit semi-warning track, kind of supposed to catch it but not. Nobody out, if he drops the ball and you don't score, no problem, second and third. With one out, he drops the ball, you should put yourself in a position to score. That's with a fly ball, okay? For me, that's in a fly ball situation. Now I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that base hit, okay? For me, when you're on second base and you got that base hit, you are scoring until told otherwise. So for me, my mentality was, I'm thinking every single time, my teammate's gonna get a base hit, base hit, base hit. So for me, I'm rounding third base, going hard. And from there, I always wanted to, for, for me, I'm looking at once I rounded third, I always paid attention to that catcher. Some of the best catchers would deke you very good, but some catchers would commit early. And what I mean by that is they'll let you know where that ball's coming. You know what I mean? If it's to the right, to the left, or up the line. If you have a catcher that will dictate that, you slide away from the area. For me, I always had a mentality of I'm going to, either going to have a collision with the ca uh, catcher, I'm going in hard, I'm making a collision, I'm running right at him, but if I see him up the line or, or to the left, I'm thinking about sliding, I'm always thinking about sliding away from the play, okay? Make sure you slide away from the play, and for you on-deck hitters, make sure that you get that behind, and make sure you help your base runner out left or right, okay? But the moral of the story is, Make sure that when you're on second base, you are scoring on that hit, okay? You are actually going. Don't assume that that third base coach is going to stop or send you. And do your homework prior. If you know where the outfielders are playing, you're going to know if you can make it or not even before the ball's hit. So again, everything that we discussed today is nothing but being a, a, a good base runner. And for you guys that are average runners, take pride in being a good base runner. You get guys like that on your ball club, you're going to win a lot of games. Again, John Cangelosi with Pro Tips.